Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 96, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've uh, been making our way through the cantina, trying to find out uh, what happened to our friend who got murdered. So that way we can figure out what to do. And, uh... And then we'll go from there. So let, let's finish questioning people in the canteen, and then we'll see what else we can manage. That's an awful lot of thugs. You can't be the one that fought all those bounty hunters. Only some sort of crazed Wookie could pull that off. Okay. Says go you. Go back to your ship, off worlder. We don't need your kind in Isis. Mm hmm This is our part of the merchant quarter. Watch your step. What are you gonna do about it? I like droids around here. Get the little one out of our room. Oh, seriously. We're, we're going to do this? You tell him. Uh... <laughs> He's with me. You got a problem with that? I don't think you're helping. I don't Just keep the flaming thing quiet while it's over here, then. All right. I'd like to talk to you about the murder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. Oh. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. Do you know the good doctor? I know his face. That's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. Who's Bekel? She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her. Uh. Or else. Okay. So that's it. And I gained influence with T3 for standing up for him at the bar. Well, that was semi productive. Hmm. I wonder where I'm going to acquire another uh, Starport visa. Because there's too many people asking for him for me to not end up with another one sooner or later. All right, you gave a visa to Exart, a Republic operative. He didn't tell you what his mission was, but it sounded urgent. There are still many people looking for a visa. And since the quest is still on the list, that leads me to believe that I'm probably going to get a couple more. We got the doctor's alibi, so now we need to go talk back to the merchant square and talk to the captain. Uh... Okay. Let's, uh, hustle back that way. I, I still, yeah, yeah, there's got to be something about the droid there, too. That That's not there by accident, and it's not clickable by accident. We just haven't figured out what the right sequence is yet. All right, let's, uh, let's go see the captain. General, we have found them again. <laughs> have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew <laughs> of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. <laughs> hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have him watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. Uh oh. Well, nothing ominous there. Alright, I don't think they're gonna let me over there yet. Let's go. Let's go find Home Skillet by the turret. Alright, nothing more to talk to him about yet. You know, I haven't found a workbench in a while either. Like, am I going to have to go all the way back to the starport? Fly down to the Mandalorian camp to get a workbench to upgrade weapons? Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. Mm. All right. You were telling me about the trouble. Yeah, let's try that, and then we'll get to the 
Gint. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia oh, are having mind. some disagreements. Could you tell me about these I've troubles? I've been warned from nope. command to okay. keep my opinions to myself on that. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Yeah, I bet. What do you mean by that? Politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city. And everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. Okay. Gladly. What this else can I talk I'd about? Much rather avoid. All right. Do you have a fellow friend? We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Who got murdered? Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So okay. far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. Yeah, thank you. We need to get Dagon You've already told me that. How long is he going to be questioned? Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Hmm. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The colonel thinks that murder isn't yeah, too far the for thinks. someone like him. Uh, can I see him? No way. We're under <sighs> orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. I can't force persuade you to do that? No? Okay. How can I eliminate him as a suspect? I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever <laughs> heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. No, only accidentally? He one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask okay. around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing him. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. Okay. All right. Stay out of trouble. I guess we got a little bit of running around because now we need to go back to. All right. All access is restricted and. Alright, then I guess we need to head back to the cantina and speak to Kip. I'm going to get tired of this back and forth, aren't I? There's no quick travel? Could we add quick travel? Is it too late? Maybe I should start uh, using that speed force power just to get myself a little more forward movement. All right. Am I about to get mugged for a third time on the most dangerous corner in all the market? Oh. I'm actually kind of disappointed about that. Uh, you going to give me any new information? No. Are you going to give me any new information? No. All right. Back to the cantina. No. Nope, I promise. No trouble. Don't mind the man running around with the double-bladed lightsaber. No trouble will ever come of that. Alright. Oh, the Offworlder returns. No I wanted to talk to you about the murder. I had the misfortune of being here that night. What do you want to know? Uh, do you know any reason why he would want to kill Sulio? I normally try to leave the cantina before the more serious drinkers arrive. That night I was very near Dragon Sulio. Dragon was attempting what I assume was a mating advance. Oh. Okay. I may not be human, but even I could tell his advances were particularly unwanted. And many of the words I've never heard, but the ones I did understand, I assure you, were most impolite. Yikes. Humiliation on that scale is a real motive for passionate and deadly response. I told the soldiers as much. Oh. So he got arrested for being bad at hitting on people at the bar? Okay. Uh... Okay. I'll be going now. 
Now, I need to talk to Nico. Is that, that is the bartender, right? Is it Nico? No, this is Nico. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for Bazaar. Uh, can I talk about the murder again? Business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Uh, someone was saying that Sulio deeply humiliated Dagon the night she was murdered. That's a very good she motive. Did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. Okay. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd parry <laughs> on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. Hmm. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow tooth dung dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It okay. may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit, their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of okay. information will help with clearing Dagon. Yeah, but thank the you for that. Military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe I haven't some noticed. Of these people will know more about what happened that night. Um. What happened the night of the murder? I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud <laughs> sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. A as opposed to only mostly dead? I heard Gent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Uh, where did you find the body? Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. Thank you. I've been trying to do that this whole time. Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. All right. Let's go do the thing that I keep trying to do every time I walk by and inspect the junk heap. and probably find out some vital bit of information that could have shortened this entire quest. That is my one beef with some of these types of games. You have to find the right person who will launch into the thing that will convince you to finally go to the very obvious blood splatter that surprisingly is still there. And inspect the broken droid, which you've been doing every time you walk by it. And this is the remains of a serving droid, still clutching a serving tray. It's been heavily scavenged, and the head is missing. Okay. Nobody nope. we talked with mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the canteen... How would you know? Like, do droids go into rigor mortis or something? Is there a droid version of rigor mortis? That, uh... Like, oh man... His well-oiled joints are creaky. Alright, uh... Apparently, I can't just go to the droid merchant and talk to him about it. I have to go talk to the beast rider before I'll be able to talk to the droid merchant and find out about it. Because that's the way this rolls. Where was he? Nope, wrong one. There, there's only two wings. I got a 50-50 shot. Oh, you know what? Let's, let, let's, let's go ahead and not have an argument. I'm going to need him anyway. This room is reserved, off-worlder. You, you going you gonna to fuss about somebody else in my party now? I'd have swapped them both out for droids if I could have. All right. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I found a broken serving droid. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. Oh. Waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. Um. Sorry, I'll refrain from comment. This is a family fun friendly show any idea I tell you even if I knew oh. I could tell you where you could find the parts though 
Okay. Where? That western square has the perfect fence for droid mm -hmm. parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D okay. is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. Maybe. Might have even bought some. All right. There we go. Now, let's run back. I do kind of like the jazzy music. Not gonna lie. Alright, so now let's try talking to the droid. Greetings, Master. Do you have any interest in my goods? Um. Entity Behema unknown. I have many serving droid parts. I want to buy those parts then. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Fine. Here's 25 Thank you credits. For your business. I'm not even going to have it. We should head back with the severed head. I mean, at least it's not going to decompose. Yet again. The Offworlder returns. I want to talk to you about the murder, because apparently that's the only way I can get to the conversation tree. Going here, I present you this head. I have the remains of a droid. Can you get information from it? Give me a minute or two. You know, I actually have people who could do this. They have a high enough skill. I kind of wish that was a way to do it. Alright, I should do it. Let's take a look at his last feed. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. That's not very useful. Alright, there you go. It seems this recording proves that the killer came from the marketplace. You may want to show this to Nico. Um, where was Nico? Nico? No. I he isn't the guy that I gave my uh, visa to and ran off, is he? Oh wait, wasn't Nico one of these people? No. No. Nope. No. Which one's Nico? Oh, there's Nico. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for Bazak. Alright, can I talk to you about the murder? Foul business that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk, talk about? The new conversation tree. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Reich and we should. all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? Uh, he couldn't have done it. That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. Well, of course, that's why I made bold statement. He can explain it. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, uh, Captain. I hope you wait, can explain what? yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. 
Uh, <laughs> how much investigating did you do? She just called them a few names? No, that seems counterproductive. They weren't really fighting. The regulars can vouch for that. Have you read that. the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Uh, did, <laughs> did you talk to anyone in the bar? Others can confirm they were good friends. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Fahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Okay. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So were other people. Um... Okay, so were other people. Some salvagers were stripping the serving droid there within a minute or two. That's true. Nico saw him coming from his office, but he was coming from inside the bar. I've already given my report off Worlder. He came from his office, like I said. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Solio was killed, and huh. he did not have an alibi. Okay. Uh. A recording shows the shot came from the opposite direction. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did yeah. do it, it's going to be on your head. Hey, we got our contact free. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gent out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. I don't Quite care that he's not happy. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. Uh, ooh, yeah, that is a good question. The Major seemed particularly unwilling to believe that he was innocent. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. Yeah, okay. I've heard there's been some concern about that. We're I bet. Free. I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? I'm not going to say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this all up. All right. Up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Yeah, you do. Do you know how many times I've been mugged over there? Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out on my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Okay. All right. Uh, how do you know Mandalore? We go way back, way before he became Mandalore. In my experience, Mandalorians always know about the doctors around. <laughs> For some strange reason, they keep getting into. Yeah, scrapes. I can't imagine why Mandalorians would need to know where all the doctors are. Okay. Um. Uh, Why were you locked up in the first wrong place? place? Wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at, and she oh. could drink. You got any idea who killed her? No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. Probably ought to do something about that. You, uh, you don't care? She's dead now. Not like finding whoever did it will bring her back. I deal with death all the time. We all end up like her eventually. Well, that's a little dark. Okay. Mandalore said you might be able to help me out. I need to get in touch. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's vault. <laughs> I know a few I, I've seen some hut vaults. Need to get They're touch? not locked up that bunch. Who do you need to get in touch with? Well, okay. Who is trying to kill the Queen? Nobody knows for sure. But everybody thinks that General Baku has to have something to do with it. They're keeping the attempts quiet, but I yeah, bet they are locked down tight. Trying to get in touch with the Jedi Master. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. Yeah. There's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. Who do 
you think it is? I'm not certain. Otherwise, I tell you. Yeah. But the man uh -huh. I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If well, that is a Jedi, master, isn't it? He should become one. And you get in touch with someone. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went yeah. through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Oh. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on Okay. Them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. Okay. So who's got them? The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's uh -oh. the one to clean me out. She's in the I think I know what's coming up next. Days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. <laughs> take Mandalore with you, though. You should be just fine. Just I get bet. me the encrypted all the disc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. All right. Ooh, we got another double-bladed lightsaber. I know somebody who could really use that. I could also use a workbench to upgrade some stuff. All right. All right. We are round about the episode time. I don't know if walking into the canteen is going to trigger the conversation or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go... We need some encrypted disks and yeah okay let me go ahead and do one last save real quick actually you know what I will go into the cantina just because I want the jazzy music while I do my outro stuff okay well that was fun Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.